Hello everybody, welcome to Jack Talk. Today I'm going to launch a new series about uh, networking. I named it as a Networking 101. I'm going to cover something like the very beginning, like the Ethernet architecture, and then extend to the whole world. It's called Internet. And then extend to an uh, indoor, inside a building with a certain distance, and uh, a so-called Wi-Fi. There's a three important, you know, concept or area. Okay. Again, the local one is called Ethernet architecture. Ethernet is one of all those available architectures for the past in the history but people found the ethernet is a good one so they remade the ethernet architecture all the rest phase out and then extend to outside okay from building to building from city to city from country to country all over the world is called internet right easy okay another thing extend the signal okay networking signal indoor wirelessly that means wi-fi okay let's take a look at that the beginning is ethernet Ethernet, net, just like even the human, right? The social networking, social network, okay, the human network, same idea. So that's the net. Ether is one of the many different kinds of uh, net in, you know, computer area. This computer connect with the second computer, second will connect with the third one. So we form an Ethernet, okay, wide, with cabling, okay, not that far away. In the future, I'm going to take a very close look, each of them. The first one is the Ethernet. How did people develop the Ethernet, okay, that's important. So Ethernet, if you extend it, and then we name that as an Internet, right? Self-explain, net, and then inter. That means on the, the whole world, right? But that Internet usually is with cabling first is not wireless because and the uh, you know the internet service providers mostly is only two kind of the companies the first one is the uh, traditional phone company because they have pre-built cabling second one is the tv company they have a cable tv for you right so they have assisting cabling too. So they develop something on top of, uh, you know, the phone conversation or the TV show. They carry the internet signal and then transfer that from here to there and then getting into your home, your house, your building, your company, etc. Right? And then, after get into your house, you have a black box. Now we call that gateway, right? Or, in the past, we named that two items. The first one is a modem, and the second one is a router. I'm going to take a look at those things in very detail in the future. But today, I'm going to give you an introduction. A big picture, a concept first. So after you get into your home, 
indoor, we develop something. Everybody knows that. Wi-Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi. What's Wi-Fi? They broadcast the internet signal wirelessly. And then your cell phone, your tablet, okay, all those things can receive and transfer data in and out. So that's a for indoor, okay, for indoor or a uh, very short distance, okay, uh, something like only maybe 300, you know, feet, not that far away. If you need to transfer further, you do need something like a repeater or build another router to extend further and the distance. Okay, that's the big picture. Okay, so if your house, there's a house and you know, have a wall, right? And the internet service provider gives you something like a box. That's a so-called gateway now. Actually, gateway is not the name at the beginning. Now they use gateway to name an item combining modem and router. Okay, from here to here, because the internet have to transfer very far away distance, right? Even they use wide, and the signal will be weakened, weakened. Right? So we do need an analog signal to transfer data further. But after we get the signal, we have to convert the data into digital. Remember, in the last series, the digital system, I explained what digital system is. Why we need digital system. Why computer know only binary system. Remember? Okay, good. So from here to here, there's an analog signal coming in, and then there's a converter become the digital signal. Still remember what digital is? Digital is a binary. Binary is digital. That's simple. Okay, after getting digital, and then Ethernet take digital signal and do something further, like the wide network or wireless network. That's the big picture of how the internet world works. Okay? I don't want to make it long. Okay, it gives you a beginning and uh, introduction, a big picture first. And next one, I'm going to look into the details for you. Okay, thank you.